very good evening to all our viewers and uh, welcome to Thursday's edition of uh, the Evening Review. My name is Toivan Jabela, your host. Let's look at some of the headlines in, in Friday's Namibian Sun. The shooting of uh, armed robbers in Rundu, in which uh, two of them were killed, has led to a police investigation against some of the officers that were involved in that operation. NAMRA uncovers 15 million fraud, tax fraud rather, involving some of the officials within the agency. And finally, an investigation has been instituted against an audit firm that has approved the financials of, uh, or audited rather, the financials of All People's Party that were published in the newspapers this week. This is why we Tonight uh, in the studio we are joined by Moses Moses. He is uh, a member of the Independent Patriots for Change, although he is speaking in his own capacity tonight on the show about a variety of issues, including what happened in uh, Swakopmund on Monday, where a lot of people were turned away initially from attending that event. Moses, welcome to the show. Thank you very much. Yeah. Um, what was your what was your take on what happened in uh, in Swakop over the weekend uh, regarding uh, independence? Um, I should maybe ask you the for to look at the the independence mm. issue of uh, that uh, maybe just a little bit of an uh, apology yeah. to. To the fellow Namibian that they were seriously disappointed how the independence was uh, conducted or the manner that it was mm -hmm. conducted and uh, some of them they use uh, uh, violence language mm -hmm. and uh, because of the disappointment Mm. Uh, maybe I just should give an apology for that. So, so as who? A, just a consent season. So the apology goes to who? To the nation. To the nation. Yes. Okay. So, um, looking at them driving all the way, some of them they said they came from Katima North and uh, Winduk, mm. just driving down there to to celebrate mm. the independence and to their disappointment is that they were not allowed to enter the, the venue. Mm. Although that uh, the, we can see them in uh, social medias, how they were really showing their disappointment mm. and, uh, all, and all that. So okay. we sh for me now, as, as I came today, um, it's not really the issue of how the, the, the independence was conducted or in what manner was the, the independence was conducted. Mm. It's just that a little bit I was much more concerned and it moved me mm. uh, with the concern of how the amount that was dished out from the government mm. uh, to celebrate the independence for only few people. Mm. At the end of the day, we totally ignore that we have seriously uh, issues mm. in our country, such as um, the kids from school that they go to school that they do not have chair. Yeah. And they, you can tell also the outfit 
that they have, they go to school without shoes, mm. and, and that amount, if could be direct to that one, mm. I think our government could be uh, done a great job by mm. doing that. Mm. That, uh, you know what, we uh, all have independence, so our the finance that is supposed to go to the independence let us f uh, put it maybe in the, those learners or the school that they are really need the facility mm. or perhaps also looking at maybe we can uh, uh, offer this to hospital that the uh, they that women that are labors they do not have bed to labor. Mm. or the other people, they go there to get their medicine for, uh, for blood pressure. They normally go there and they do not have um, the medicine. They have to go to, to, to the, what you call it, uh, the other facilities that mm. they can get their medicine because of the hospital of state have yeah. nothing. I hear you. Yeah. So, so let me ask you this. Um, so obviously independence is a very important chapter in our country. Yeah. 1990, that 21st March 1990 was such a, a historic and uh, a, a life-changing day in the, in, the, in, in, the, in, the in the life of our country. How do you propose that we remember that day? How, how must we do it if you say that uh, I mean, because there will always be competing needs in the country, uh, but how do you intend, how do you propose that we, we handle it? You see, independence, uh, we, we all independence um, politically, mm. and, uh, but we can really tell that we are not independence when it comes to economically. Mm and uh, we have people that are seriously uh, linguish in poverty that they really need the help yeah and the reason why i'm saying that is because for me personally i always involve with community in different way mm. whether it's with the churches or with a spiritual Mm -hmm. And because I do sometimes have uh, a call out for, I uh, mean, for counseling, and I do counsel people mm -hmm. uh, in a spiritual manner. And uh, I also have a company for filming, mm -hmm. which I am also involved with the community. I'm always at a look and uh, down on the ground, seeing mm -hmm. how people they are really suffering. And if you can uh, hear, there is a also, uh, uh, article where uh, people they view as Namibian as a nation that is not happy, mm. and it's on, on the first the first page. Mm. And uh, be, the reason why this nation is not happy because of the poverty, mm. and it's because of the the independence that it did not reach to all. So, yeah. how, so how do we do it then? My, on the 21st, so next year, for example, 2023, 20, 21st March 2023, what must we do on that day next year? Uh, are you must, we stay, must we stay at home? The president stays at home, the ministers, all of us? Or how do we avoid using money on Independence Day? Because obviously, if there is a celebration, obviously there will be money used. So how do, yes, you, how do we do it? Definitely looking at also that um, um, independence, we all have to celebrate the independence and we all have to celebrate also the hero that uh, sacrifice mm. their blood that, uh, you know, that uh, give us the freedom. Mm. We all have to celebrate that day because Mm. We can't stand still without celebrating it because it's a memory. Mm. But would that left to this question to maybe for our leader, mm. and if they can go to to the ground mm. and ask even the young one what is really freedom? Mm. 
they will not have an answer. Because some of people, even of those that were born in 83, mm. they may not even know what you are talking about when you talk about independence. Mm. Because to them, independence means nothing. Mm. Uh, because that freedom, that liberty uh, to have or to hold on the um, resources of of our country, it kind of like though some of them you can tell them in the streets trying to survive with apples, trying to survive maybe with selling sweet. Mm. But end of the day, if they try to do that, because remember this, we are in the land of the brave, mm. and uh, Namibia and they are not lazy people, as I can tell you that. Mm. But the problem is only that they are not given the opportunity mm. and uh, looking at looking at that you mm. now is when you can make a judgment and say can we not direct the money mm. to to the needful mm. to just to do the needful what is really i mean looking at really what is really uh, uh the need of this nation, mm. just to liberate them a little bit from uh, get, getting a child a chair while he's at school. Mm. And remember, these are children that are walking mm. a distance mm. just to reach them to reach to the school on feet. And once the child reaches to the school, is already tired. And imagine now you are tired and you are sitting on the floor. Mm. Will you say that that child is going to pay attention to what the teacher is saying? Definitely it's a, not. It's a, it's a good question. Now, um, the where were you on uh, on Independence Day? Do you, give, do you want to give us a, a, a sense of what you did on that day? Because I'm asking because uh, your party, I know that you are not uh, representing the party ha here, but uh, it, it was launching its campaign. Were you at the campaign? Were you at home? Or were you in Swakopmund? Definitely. I was with the party and I was proud to be among them. Mm. And, uh, and I'm happy that I was with people that really um, looking at the change. Mm. But as I, for me personally, I was uh, with uh, the launching out of the party, but today I uh, do not want to, to involve uh, the party because when I came, I came as individual yes. with my own conviction yeah. of uh, how things that, of how things that really move me mm. personally, uh, how if, the, the only thing that I want to flow it here uh, just a little bit is um, if maybe the money that was directed to to the independence, mm. if there is a change, I plead and I beg the government to look at this, if they can just, those changes to bring it to those ones that are really in need. Mm. Uh, yeah, but I enjoy the the lodging out of the party, though. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because I was there. Indeed. The, the last question, because we don't have enough time, uh, Moses, is um, you know the country is going through a lot of challenges, um, and um, I'm I'm just wondering, as a person who also have your own aspirations in life, you want certain things to happen in your country in order for you to reach your personal goals, maybe financial goals, economic goals. What is it that you think must happen in the next couple of years to get our country on track? Because a lot of things have gotten worse in, in recent years due to uh, different factors, but what is it that you think is important to be done for us to, to, to start marching forward again? Hey, that is a a, a big question with a lot of things that you, in our country, yeah. 
uh, one should really look at the different angles and different areas for the country to get back where it should be support to be. Mm. Because the, the chief Maharellos and the, uh, um, those that were in, in prison, those that uh, sacrificed their blood and, and uh, those that they were in, in exile, mm. they were fighting for nothing but for their motherland. Mm. Now, if we have to look at how we should do it, I mean, to bring this country back where it's supposed to be, one of the area that we have to look at, which is the biggest area of is corruption. Mm. Because corruption does not just stealing the resources yeah. of the country, but it's also push people to sink in poverty, mm. for people not to have access, uh, access to, to freedom of economic. Mm. And uh, poverty, I mean, corruption have brought a lot of facility in government, I mean, uh, sector in government not to have facilities mm. because the money is no longer going to be used what was which supposed to be purpose for but mm. uh, is being used to the enrichment of their of one person individual mm. and if we can just maybe have the namibian those that are in uh, that they doing or, um, Corrupt, corruption, mm. I plead with them if they can maybe just have a remorse mm. and a repentance heart mm. to say, you know what, we have been doing this for decay or for few years or many years, and now let us just repent and do the needful. That is all. Indeed. Mm. Moses, thank you for your time. We appreciate uh, your, your time. Uh, uh, and um, we hope, obviously, that uh, things will turn around. I hope a lot of people are listening, obviously, and that they, that they hear your message. Thank you for coming. Thank you very much. Wonderful. I'm glad to, to be with you and good to have me here. Wonderful. Thank you so much. That was uh, Moses Moses. Uh, he's a member of uh, IPC, sharing his views on some of the things that are happening in the country. Thank you for watching and good night.